this week's Ask the Vet. Tick season is at its peak, and it is so important that these pests do not latch on to your four-legged family members. So joining me now is Dr. Christian Broadhurst with the Clay Humane Society on a very important topic. You know, we were just talking about this. For humans, we say wear long sleeves, wear pants if you're in certain areas that you might be exposed to a tick, but you can't do the same thing with your pets. It's awful tough, yeah. I mean, because certainly some dogs have short furs, easier to find a tick on sushi here mm -hmm. than it is on a big hairy dog like my other Clifford. Okay. Um, it's So you really do have to be very diligent, especially when they come in from not necessarily your backyard, but if you have an overgrown backyard, that can be a problem. But ticks usually are out in fields, woods, parks, things like that. So. All right. Sushi, I'm sorry. I, I ignored you. I did not introduce you today to our audience. <laughs> there she is. All right. Um, so what are you looking for? I mean, should this happen every time you're in a, a space like that? Or there's certain things that might stand out that your pet has been exposed? Well, it's certainly anytime you have the opportunity, go over your pet, you know, pet them, love on them and look for ticks. Ticks mm -hmm. are, you know, about this you know, they're smallish, the size of like flat a brown. Pinhead kind yeah, of? Yeah, well, okay. some, some can even be bigger than that. But if you see them, it's important to get them off as soon as possible um, because most diseases that are tick transmitted are transmitted after a period of time. So if you can get your tick immediately off, then less you don't likely to, they'll less be exposed. Likely. Are exactly. there certain areas of the pet that you want to look behind, like, you know, in the leg area, maybe behind the ears? Ears, toes. Toes are very popular really? for some strange okay. reason. Yeah, so between the toes. Little toes. Um, and Which we never probably check. No, it's very, yeah. very difficult to kind of, you know, spread your pet's toes apart, but that's mm -hmm. a very popular place for ticks to bite. Of course, the better plan is to prevent your tick, your dog from getting ticks in the first place. Right, okay. So tick prevention is certainly one of the, the best ways we can go about um, preventing them. A lot of flea and tick products are out there. There's, I mean, fleas usually take the, the center stage because they're so prevalent. Right. Um, but ticks are a problem too. So be sure that especially if you have an outdoor dog or a dog who likes to go on walks or go camping, that your your flea product is a flea and tick product. Oh, that's a good point. Yeah. Now, certain that those, uh, those, I'm sorry, tick-borne diseases like Lyme disease, mm -hmm. they can get those same things and what kind of symptoms would they show? Well, the, there are several tick-borne diseases out there and they can manifest any number of different things. Sometimes the lymph nodes will get swollen, sometimes their joints will ache, sometimes they'll end up with blood problems and anemias and problems like that. Um, so most importantly, if you know that your dog is tick exposed or has recently been bitten and they start to show weird symptoms, get your veterinarian. That's certainly the best thing to do. And just be sure you tell your vet, oh yeah, we pulled the tick off last right. week. And tick season, is it over when it starts to cool down a bit? Uh, a bit. I mean, I, we're in Florida, so the seasons yeah. never actually ever stop, um, but it's most prevalent during the summer and it will cool down or it will slow down in the cooler seasons. All right. Sushi, you okay? You're all right now. I gave you a little love. All right. Thank you, Dr. Broadhurst. Appreciate it. And so thank for coming in. Make sure you get those products that will help your dogs keep and cats away from the ticks. We'll be back after the break.